So the final's been out for three months and some change, and regardless of what you heard about the game is dead, blah, blah, whatever, like they're just talking about Steam numbers as they always do. As great as I think the game is, and a lot of people think it is, there's still some things they need to just update and just change about the game for it, the betterment of it, like overall. The first thing is to do like a Twitch Rivals or something of that sort with people like Otter, Staycation, Shroud, because now that they have the custom matches, they added a new mode, Cash Out, which is essentially like one round of a tournament, so you have four teams of three, and whoever has the most money at the end wins, which is a lot better than having the unranked tournaments. I never understood why they were in the game, but yeah, because the game isn't dead, but it does need to grow like any other game. It only needs to grow to the top and only to be the most popular. It won't because, you know, COD exists. But for the sake of them growing the game as they, I know they want to, a Twitch Rivals is probably the way to go to do that. The second thing I think they need to do is the game needs to be better optimized because I don't have like the worst PC. I don't got the best one, but I got, I, I, I've been trying to stream it off my PC just like a win pc stream and it just it struggles with it like it it varies from patch to patch like sometimes it'll just be perfectly fine i can stream it like any other game and then the next day i just can't it's just encoding issues over and over and that might be because of my cpu but still i mean not everyone can afford to beef up their pc at a moment's notice i literally just got done 20 minutes ago trying to take down my second monitor and just have my mac there i have a mac laptop i was gonna stream off that but then of course the capture card i have or like my old capture card that was the last one that didn't support mac so i had done all this work just to put it put it all back where it was spent like three hours doing that it was annoying but yes please i would like the game be better optimized so i don't do none of that i can just stream off one pc i might still end up taking the second monitor down because i'm like besides if i'm not streaming it's really just spotify and discord on there it really don't be doing much i gotta stop having like a stream up while i'm doing stuff it's <laughs> my attention span ain't like on tiktok level but it's still it it could be better if i just have less going on on the second screen then like where would i put chat i guess i could just have my phone i don't know i'd be multi-streaming so i don't think that'll work but anyways third thing put the lore more at the forefront i don't know what'd be going on with the lore i'll be real with you but games like apex i know they do the, like the storage from the islands on youtube and they'll have like the cutscenes in the game with finals it's pretty much just like the sponsor companies and then the announcers talking about stuff and like it's very very easy to miss granted it is lore so it doesn't need to be just like forced in your face but for people that could be interested they probably don't even know it exists and they could do that through like more of the announcer conversation since they're i'm pretty sure they're ai generated anyway so you just have them talk about different things and then even the contestants in the game like people were playing as they could just talk to each other about things and that'd be another way to hint at stuff but yeah i think it'd be good for the game nothing major just something cool about it and then more specifically for like the game being played uh light being more viable because right now it's just kind of like the skill floor of light is high so like the people that are good at it they're annoying like if you sword dash i hate you like i genuinely do not like you as a person and then the invis like invis actually should be nerfed because it is crazy that you can just ads while still invisible and start shooting but yeah light in general they just need to be balanced but made viable just a lower skill floor because if you're not like like if you don't fully understand how to play like you can't just jump on it and be decent with it like you can't a medium or a heavy it just doesn't happen i think they've done a good job of balancing heavy and medium so far i mean they took out nukes like those were super annoying hated them everybody hated them that was the reason i didn't play ranked as much in the first season as i do now every time i got in the fight it was a nuke like guaranteed and then something that's just been in the game or hasn't been in the game since the betas is, is footstep audio you can't hear anybody like the heavies are not small people they should not be walking up to my back silently it is annoying i used to play apex i already know how bad footstep audio can be but apex got better footstep audio than finals that's saying something I think the last thing is to just keep doing what they're doing i mean they update the game constantly like i said they took out nukes that was a big problem they tried to keep it in the game because it was pretty clear that's something that they wanted to be there but it just didn't work so i ended up just flattening it it had about I want to say three or four LTMs in the first season. They had like smoking guns, a solo banquet, and then another version of solo banquet, which was steal the spotlight where you only played as heavy. And there might've been one more. I just don't remember it. But even like the skins, it's like the skin designs are pretty cool. The weapon progression skins, those are bad. Maybe make them metallic and like put the color over the entire gun and make it metallic. I think that'd be good. That way it's like, it's still just going to be a, a basic color, but it'd be like nicer to look at. They're pretty dull as they are if you don't have like the very the fifth and sixth tier but besides the progression skins the skins are generally pretty good like they have a like an 8-bit lh1 which is the martian rifle 
they have just a full bunny suit for easter and yes i bought it but they had a character where it's like the face is like a digital or your entire the skin of the person is just like a digital screen so there's stuff like going over their face the entire time best of all the prices isn't outrageous you're not moving like apex we're not moving like valorant with the prices you spend 20 you probably get like seven eight things in it because you know you can mix and match stuff on the character and you get weapon skins or even that bunny skin i brought up that was 20 dollars, but it gives you 20 dollars worth of coins back so you basically just bought 20 coins and get a skin for free as a benefit i'm not gonna call it free you still spend 20 dollars, but you get what i'm saying but there is a lot of actual free stuff in the game like with the bunny bash event you just do the challenges they give you a couple uh pieces of clothing if you just level up in general you get clothes that way too and then even in the battle pass battle pass same price ten dollars as any other game pretty much you get enough coins you get actually a lot more coins than you need to buy the next one so you could buy some out the store maybe not the most expensive thing but if you wait two seasons you might be able to i don't know the exact number but i know it's like at least four to five hundred more than you would need to buy the next battle pass and then this season they fixed the a lot of people are complaining about the xp how long it takes to finish the battle pass so they added the circuits on top of daily challenges Challenges. I think it's faster finishing the battle pass, but I play a lot, so it really wouldn't apply to me because it gets done for me faster anyway since I'm on the game more. So, but for people, if you play the game just sometimes, do you notice the difference? Because I genuinely don't know, but I'm assuming that since there's a lot more challenges that are going to be around as the circuits go on, because if they drop, I want to say one set a week. So, if you just don't play for like three weeks and you have just like three weeks of challenges that you can do to just boost yourself through the battle pass yeah that's really all i got leave a like on the video uh subscribe to the channel and if y'all do a twitch rivals uh put me in it just because also my ad was probably by cod for the longest as in like the videos quite literally being made by me but i saying it changed it to save Kaj just for something shorter because i can't have a three letter username if i could be just Kaj on its own i would be but i can't so yeah uh, socials are lingering down there in the description i'll see you in the next one bye